let's do cork screw modeling see here dimensions in millimeter material not available now see the spiral part is divided into three sections the first section is spiral line with diameter of 7 pitch of 10 1 ton and spiral cone angle 30 degree the middle section is spiral line with diameter of 7 mm and pitch 10 and 2.5 tons the last section is spiral curve uh, this is the spiral curve we have all the dimensions here now the intersection of half spiral surface and spiral revolution which originates from the center of rotation okay so this is the our uh, spiral section this is divided into three sections this one half the middle one and the last one last one is tapered 30 degree see the diameter here 3 here 2.2 he at the end 0.1 now center distance 7 millimeter okay so we will start create first this one now pitch 10 millimeter and this is one ton the second curve is 2.5 tons 1 2 and this is 2.5 diameter is same so this is we are going to keep same angle we will see the at this point we have to choose which angle i think 270 degree or something now see in isometric view we need to find this position let's see how we can achieve this one front plane sketch activate circle and draw seven diameter circle okay now go to feature and apply helix and spiral feature just okay now here choose pitch and revolution constant pitch 10 uncheck reverse direction now here revolution only one the first one okay angle 270 degree okay exactly we need to start from this other curves also going to start from this point but this this helix have taped tapered angle 15 degree see this is going to be something like this counterclockwise okay now again choose front plane sketch now use previous sketch convert entity if you see the diameter is 7 again go to feature helix and spiral this time uh, we will keep same pitch revolution and constant pitch revolution uh, pitch 10 reverse direction now revolution 2.5 but there is no taper angle okay let's see okay this is going to be clockwise direction now you will see see how these two curves going to align that's why this one anti-clockwise or one clockwise say okay now see okay let's create this third curve dimension also here written but let's see this is a kind of spline 2.5 5 7.5 3.5 10.1 1 2.4 okay then uh, at the end we will make this one 40 15 total length 60 depth 35 diameter 3 radius 3 and there is a gap 2 millimeter let's see how we can achieve this one now i'm going to again use front plane no not front plane right plane sketch activate line tool and start from here activate spline okay before going to spline let me define this distance so 10 millimeter and this 3.5 half of 7 okay peers See, this is fully defined normal view 
spline one two three and four right click select and exit smart dimension now the first point 2.5 the second point 5 and the third point 7.5 Okay, similarly, let me choose height, the first point, 2.4, second one millimeter and the third one is 0.2. Okay, look, drawing seems fully defined. Okay, do one thing here, select this curve and this one make it tangent because this is going to align with the face now I am going to surface revolve surface now here axis of revolution choose this one and create this curve keep angle 360 degree say ok ok but here we have to create intersection curve due to, with the help of intersection curve right plane sketch line up to make sure this is 3.5 half line okay simply exit again create right plane sketch why we are going to create two uh, plane because we need to create one curve through intersection curve okay let me choose previous okay directly create one plane a line horizontal line make the length 10 millimeter exit now just go to swift surface and here choose swift surface now first profile let me select this path this but go to option in profile choose twist specify twist value and how much turn it is 0 0.5 given 1 by 2 1 by 2 specify here revolution 1 by 2 see say ok now here we have two curves so go to sketch drop down convert entity intersection curve let me select both the curve say ok and you will see there is a curve going to create now simply do one thing either delete or hide so let me do one thing select both and hide see the curve is created now let's let me exit again let's choose right plane sketch line connect with this draw one something taper line like this connect with this make these two lines collinear dimension total length 60 15 35 okay let's select these Select these two lines, equal relation, okay. Again, smart dimension. This one make it 40 millimeter. Okay. Distance from here to here, it's 2 millimeter. 
is still drawing not uh, let's make radius okay this is lies at center see here this so connect with the midpoint now select this one horizontal look it seems fully defined sketch go to sketch fillet apply 3 millimeter now here sub select corner say yes because there is a different relation at different corner that's why it's asked would you continue say yes it might lose some relation okay oh we forget to add here also 3 millimeter select this corner now go to feature shift boss base here choose profile 3 millimeter path already selected this is simple say okay now now you will see here we have to create this is different diameter 2.2 at this point 5 millimeter from this point this is actually front plane and this uh, point 3 millimeter so we will create three planes and one plane here point 0.1 okay let's see how we can achieve this one go to drop down plane select the first one select end point create one plane at this point make sure this point tangent perpendicular say ok again select plane now select second curve and find out the midpoint see this is the start point say ok this is going to be plane 2 and uh, let me choose front plane plane 5 millimeter away this perfect direction see okay okay let me choose plane 1 a sketch point this is the smallest diameter point 1 now select the curve and center point and make relation peers exit hide plane 1 okay now let's choose plane 3 oh. create circle diameter 2.2 okay center point and curve peers okay this is going to apply here perfect exit let's hide this plane okay now plane 2 a sketch activate circle and make diameter 3 isometric view okay now you have to choose a middle uh, spiral curve select center point pierce see this is going to pierce exit now before going to apply lifted boss base feature we have to make it one curve because all are different curve drop down curve composite curve one two three make it one select all three okay now if you come down there is only one curve see this is going to be our path or cent center line now let's apply lifted boss base feature now here i am going to select uh, this uh, circle face now let's collect these uh, circles second third and the smallest one fourth but there is a problem see how this is going to create now here i am going to choose center line 
we have center line okay drop down and choose this composite curve see this is composite curve center line okay at start start constraint tangency to face at this point this is tangent keep value of tangency 1 it means the tangent length is equivalent to the tangent length on other side keep apply all here you don't need to apply tangent length or even not at the end merge tangent faces say, say okay okay here we done any appearance for appearance okay see this is cork screw don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solidworks thanks for watching